Welcome back, folks. How's it going? How's it going? How does Zana's inventory reset now? When you do her daily missions slash Atlas missions. Uh, I don't have one on here. If you just run into her normally, it won't do anything. But it, when she has her golden symbol, if you do that map and do a mission, you'll uh, it'll refresh her inventory. Speaking of. Glad you made it back. I'm on your pool, Underground River. I need, need to a keep map. a lookout for lookout. All right, we'll get the completion on this primordial pool. Research, sweet. Are you addicted to Coca-Cola? Probably, yeah. Caffeine's pretty addictive, eh? I do crave Coca-Cola, so it probably means that there's some level of addiction going on there. Sometimes I'm just like, oh man, I could go a Coke. Hooey. There is no honor in this fight, Frederick. Turn back. Oh yeah, apparently Ro there something no Rory said suggested that the syndicate members dictate which veiled mods you can get. I didn't know which one I got from, sorry. I really do hate the idea. Brandis goes to research. Hmm. Janus in research coins, meh. Like the Phoenix. Gruesome. That was Drop a map. I'm going Sweet. to kill you, Giannis. Just not yet. What's this link? Oh yeah, I got this. Someone link someone linked this to me. This one here. It's a lot it's probably harder to read than the other one, to be honest. Exclamation mark syndicate for the uh, links. It's all on PoE DB as well. Oh, nice. Oh, you mean like the Veld mod, Veld mod info? There you go. If you want to find out which person specifically drops uh, which Veld mods, then apparently that might be on PoE DB. Um, that makes sense. Though. I don't see how that's really that helpful, <laughs> because you can't really influence which ones you'll be encountering that much. Like, have everyone be friends or, or rivals with them, so that there's more chances of them showing up, I guess, but beyond that, not much you can do. What's the best base to craft for the essence table? I think the essence table is just a bit meh, to be honest. You have to like scour essence it, don't you? You have to like scour essence, scour essence, and then exalt. So it depends on what essences are on there. It doesn't. I don't like. I think the essences are somewhat random. Cause look at this. There's like four tier three greed, four tier three greed. According to this one, a life chest would be best, but I don't think it's the same each time. Because it wasn't like that when I did mine. But, yeah, I don't really know. It seems kind of shitty, to be honest. I wouldn't put Guff in Fortification if I can help it. Honestly, most of Fortification's stuff is pretty bad. For most people. It's all kind of mediocre. Mediocre turned unremarkable. <laughs> The mediocre turned unremarkable. Hey, there's our stronghold. Nice. Let's do it. What weapon are you using? Uh, I'm using a Spine of the First Claimant. It's just got a fair bit of cold damage on it and cold damage over time multiplier. Oh, rip. When I'm ready and not Glacier map. The reach up here, nice. Looks like Esh too. Wow, I don't think a single Esh splinter has dropped. Oh, there's a hand. One. Sweet. 
That was, uh, interesting. Yeah, the cold dot multi is craftable. I'm pretty sure you, you can't, cra like, mastercraft 35 on a one-hander, though. But I could, I could definitely get a better one-hander than this. I think a really well-rolled one-hander would outweigh this one. But this is pretty damn good for what it costs me. It's like four chaos for this. All my gear's still ripped quite budget, really. Research again, very nice. Mineral pools, I don't think I had that. Also very nice. Crushing it. Are you, so are you just switching from Vortex to Cold Snap? No, I'm using both. I won't be swapping both. We use both in this build for sure. You can't really just use Vortex alone unless you're doing like Vortex Frostbolt, but ugh. Um, Vortex is an instant cast We can with a cooldown, so. We can use it while we're running, and we can use it at the same time as I'm cold snapping as well. Like, if I want to double up something, I can just do both at once. I lend you my strength, ally. Don't try anything stupid. Don't. Oh, lock me up again. Ar Aku, Corral. Corral's already... Like the... Corral like probably wants to stay things. as he is, but I though this has still got a ways to go. I choose an honorable death. Plus one ranked Haku. Transportation. I'd run that. Caldera. We're pretty close. Let us see what the light reveal. Oh, there was, a, there was like a vault map there or something. Shit. I need that. How do you know when to switch to Chaos Inoculation? Uh, you can kind of switch pretty early if you want to while leveling. I just don't think it's worth the uh, extra effort to do so. I switched in the early 70s, and all I all I did to switch was basically had 10 chaos, and that was about that was about it. <laughs> and I'd done merciless lab, so that I could have both the uh, nodes. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, there is some cooldown recovery you can get if you wanted to like help out Vortex a little bit, but honestly, you don't really need it. Like, if I'm just running around normally, I can cast it pretty damn often. Without any cooldown recovery. Much I like those Shaper Strongholds. It's cool. Okay, we got some... We've been getting some maps here. Damn. It's all happening. Okay. What do we got here? Done. Need to do... Need to do. Need to do. Oof, look at Oscar. Sweet. Let's just blast through these ones real quick. I'll do the unidentified underground river. Ooh. Does it snow in Australia? Uh, I, I I'm, think it's pretty safe to say it does not snow in Australia, just generally speaking. As a general rule, it does not snow in Australia. But we have some, some snow in Australia, like on the tops of mountains in winter, that sort of thing. And some places might get a little bit of snow very occasionally, but no, snow is not a regular occurrence here. Even during the winter. I shall die a thousand times. And, and when we do when it does snow, it's not often like the snow you get in other countries. It's just like some You know when you get one of those ice grinders and you grind up some ice? It's just like some of that kind of sprinkled around the place. I've been blind to the syndicate's heresy for far too long. I do not want to bargain I am there. Done with it. My only escape. Gonna leave him. Gonna leave him. This was a rare unID map though, and of a relevant tier, so I'm gonna kind of blast through it pretty quick. Just to see if I can get some map drops. Get some decent currency out of it.
Is it more rare to spot a kangaroo or a mathal sighting? Well, I've never seen mathal IRL, so but I've seen plenty of kangaroos, so there's your answer, I guess. Diamond ring, neat. How did you zoom on the atlas location? You just right click the map. If you see, so open the atlas and then open your inventory, and then right click a map in your inventory, and it'll uh, it'll highlight where it is. Pretty neat. Have you considered gearing up into that focus? Uh, I've looked at the other focus mods and. All well, the other ones feel like it'd be too worth it for me. I just use mine as a heal. So when I'm using mine, it's usually because I'm like backing off because I'm nearly dead. So the other ones that like shock an enemy and stuff like that are not super useful to me. I could use them if I happen to have an item that I didn't want another mod in that place instead. Yeah, I think focus is pretty good. Most people will probably get some use out of having one or two focus mods. It's pretty solid. Wee. That guy kinda hurt. Too much clutter. What's my favorite chaos space to build? Hmm. You made it back. What is my favorite chaos space build? Toxic Rain it was last league. I really enjoyed Toxic Rain, but now that Cool Rain was nerfed, it's probably not that, because I really liked it with Cool Rain especially. So nowadays. Uh I don't even know. I don't know if there's anything that I've played recently that I would consider in there. Oh, that's uh, got our shape of fragment. Nice. Let's do that then. That's reflect early for sure. Yeah, my chaos, my favorite chaos builds were all like quite a while ago now, and have all been nerfed. <laughs> all my favorite chaos builds have been nerfed. I mean, essence trade contagion is fun to play. It's satisfying when contagion triggers and just goes all across the map. Just chains look beautifully. Um, my favorite chaos builds were like Spark Spiders with full chaos conversion Voltaxic Rift back in the day. But that's dead, 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 dead as a doornail, my friends. Um, and then the other one was my Chaos Orb build, which was Chaos Magma Orb full conversion with like consuming darks and poison prol proliferation. That's super double, triple, quadruple nerfed. So that's also dead. And Toxic Rain, which is not dead, but is not going to be as fun as it was. So probably not that either. Freaking Nico, man. I need to do some delves, I guess. Life is short. Deal with it. I'm getting lag again. Abyssal Cry Ice Nova? I did an Abyssal Cry Ice Nova build? Was that like consuming dark and cold to fire? So cold to fire, fire to chaos. I do remember playing a build that was pretty based on Abyssal Cry, but mm, I don't remember that. Nice library fort. You when you really want to read the next Harry Potter book without getting spoiled, my references are so out of date. <laughs> yeah, that new Harry Potter book. <laughs> Safeguarding unique armor. Mm. Janus moves to fortification. Orion and Janus become neutral. If you have someone in mind, I will put them at my right. What's Janus doing right now? Nothing. Yeah, that's fine. If you wish. The ranks of the faithful. He's making up with y with Janus. I can relate. I reckon the nest. I think then. Learn anything new. Unless I have one. Nope. I'll get that. Need a map? Arachnid nest. Where is it? There it is. I'll take that. Good luck with your map. You know what I'm gonna do to your mod, Zana? Scour it. <laughs> Screw you and your mod that forces me to regal the map if I want to get the bonus. I'll take Arid Lake. Thanks. Tier three. 
What do we got? Let me run a fungal holo real quick if I've won. I want to see what it looks like. Because I've only done like one or two, maybe. It is a cool looking map. God damn it, Nico. We're not ready for you, mate. Do I know you? When I'm ready, you wear a mask. Time for me to clean up yet another of your messes. I, I shall die a thousand times if needed. I can't die right now. Gravicious and Riker become rivals. I've made quite sure I know 20 intervention intelligence? 12 intervention intelligence. Well, I've made quite sure I know which I know. is the better deal. <laughs> I will enjoy breaking. I see your Gravicious moves to fortification. You want to reorganize this Where do I want him most? Oh, I have a I'll safe house ready. Oh, I one. wish to stay alive for the moment. And you? What do you want? Laundering, amassing. Acquiring scarabs. I probably don't really want him in scarabs, to be honest. So him swapping is probably pretty good. I see your plans, exile. You want to reorgan? I think I just want him to give me a bunch of divination cards, not give me a thing that can then later maybe give me some divination cards if I'm lucky. <laughs> I think. I guess I should really do some delves. <laughs> I've skipped like three Nico encounters now. Wasted like 3,000 sulfite. It looks, it looks like a little bit of a confusing map layout, but I think it's basically just a big circle with the boss. A couple little like inside areas. It's lag though. Seems like a decent map. I might just shape it for a bit of variety, eh? I'm running a map that looks a little bit different. Got kind of a weird like double path there though. Hunter's resolve, unique bow. I guess that's one of its divination cards. I'll leave this open. All the sulfites around around the portal. Let's do some delves real quick. Learn anything new. Good luck with your map. Let's do it, Fungal Hollow. It's got fun in the name, guys. We have to, we have to, <laughs> we have to do it. It's got fun in the freaking name, obviously. Let's go get some currency nodes, I guess. Sweet, there's a whole bunch here. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> that was all a little close. Forgot, forgot about my healing skill, could use that. Oh, drop bears. Enable swirls. More swirls. Keep the swirling up. Don't stop swirling. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is like music to my ears. It takes me home. The sound of drop bears falling all around us. Drop bears keep falling on my head. Bum, bum, bum. That means that I'll soon be dead. La 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 dead. La. <laughs> Too much clatter. Drop bears keep falling and they don't stop falling. All right, Nico's full again, which means we need to go do more delves right now because next time I encounter him, otherwise I'm gonna get run into the same situation, right? I need to like get just all the capacity. So I understand the grid thing for finding fractured walls, but cannot find them to save my life. I mean, either you can either you can check just all of them. Just poke your head in real quick, like Quicksilver, Quartz Flask, run in, check it, and then run back out. Or 
you can kind of mm, you utilize the fact that they're not really ever going to spawn right next to these node points, the end and start points. So just check the ones kind of around the middle. So like wait until you're like, you know, two or three side areas in, then start looking. Ding. How good's that sound? <gasps> so that's fine. I think we are... Uh... We've actually emptied our sulfide bar, guys. Holy moly. We actually done, done, gone and did it. Oh, I got enough for a capacity upgrade as well. So we like extra emptied it. Normally I'd be going ham on that darkness resistance, but uh, dude, I need that, need that capacity. Yeah, Just well. need that capacity. Bit of, oh, it's come out of the delves with a bit of currency. Dirty little deal. All oh, right, I have a, uh, I have a run ready. I forgot. That's fine. Helping Grafishes becomes trusted. Fortification intelligence. Yeah, that's fine. I forgot. I got a, I got a run ready. I got a safe house ready. Safe house time. Double rare maps from Rin, three star Breach, and a one star Leo Silver Queens. <laughs> That's not bad. It sounds not bad. I think we can punch through that real quick. Get some meeps going. You were born to serve us. I can still feel the cold. You what now? Damage. Rin, four mastermind intelligence. I'll only tell you what I want to tell you. Nice. That's unique, Rin. <laughs> Good on ya. Good on ya, mate. It's a pretty good number. No, no Chalupa Splinters, though. Oh god, this is gonna be the silver coins, isn't it? <laughs> Wasn't he like rank one? That's still a lot of silver coins. I feel like that's more impressive than having like a rank three leader that drops 29 silver coins. <laughs> that's a lot of silver coins, man. Yeah, that's like that's like half the amount that I got. I feel like Rin's not as good as you would think. I mean, I guess it. I guess it's just because I haven't unlocked the higher maps. Yeah. I mean, it's probably a good idea to unlock like one of each tier that you have access to, just so that when that happens, it can it can it can drop as one of them. So like, Rin could drop a tier ten, for example. Monster level models, 74, which is um, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. Yeah, maybe, maybe like, I don't know if she can do like plus ones or twos. So maybe tier seven is the best she can drop right now. Green Intervention gives map scarab, which is huge money, and you don't need maps unlocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Rin in, in uh, Intervention is the go for sure. I think we were looking at that before. Yeah, Cartography Scarabs. I think she's the best one in there overall as well. Yeah, we definitely want to try and get Rin into Intervention. Uh, maybe I can sneak her in there before... Uh, before we pop that next one. Uh, a few people have been asking about how to show the affixes like I do, like this, where you can see the affix range rolls. It's a mechanic built-in game. Um, you just have to go to options, UI, and it is in here somewhere. Advanced mod descriptions. Check this, and then you just hold Alt when mousing over an item, and it'll show you the roll ranges. Really handy. Advanced mod descriptions. Pretty good. 
pretty good. Okay, we are gonna do. We were gonna do these guys. Yes, that's right. So let's go. Arena. What do we have? Domination. Three extra shrines. I don't. I don't mind that. That's kind of nice. That one I'd actually consider start paying some money for. Not on this one. That also, I think, can be used with... That's the sort of thing you can start comboing with some scarabs. I'm looking forward to pushing up the map tiers a little bit, actually. I've been a bit slacking on it because I've been too interested in doing this stuff. But uh, pushing up the map tiers is going to be fun because then we can actually start using those scarabs. Getting some decent use out of them. And testing our, testing our build against some more challenging enemies as well. The little inviters into go. Bargain, bargain. She moves to research. Fled to research. Enriching breach stones. Modify breach stone, make it more challenging and rewarding. Like the fell's already max. Mm. Helic does flasks, which would be pretty good, actually. Let's put in research. To a monster, exile. We'll do Did them both. To become a monster, exile. Or was nice. it an accident? Alright, that was pretty good. I got two more people in research and I uh, got some decent intelligence too. 14, not bad. Not bad at all. What's the average map tier you're usually doing on this character? I haven't met a map tier that's uh, challenged me yet. I'm just starting to do some higher ones now. Oh, I should probably do this one first. This will be a side area probably. Oh no, what's this? Oh, this is going to loop around, I think, okay? What class should I play for Armageddon Brand? Probably an Elementalist. Hierophant's also alright. And some people like Trickster. Some people love Trickster. I, say, I swear, Trickster players are like... <laughs> I feel like... I feel like vegan memes are low-hanging low fruit, but... They're like the uh, crossfitters. Let's go with that. <laughs> I prefer crossfit memes over over vegan memes. The uh, tricksters are like crossfitters of Path of Exile. I won't shut up about buddy going to crossfit. Just listen to Taki. He gets into it. He loves his he loves his tricksters. Is that a dig at Taki? <laughs> I specifically mentioned him, yes. So yes, it is. <laughs> specifically, yes. Specifically a dig at Taki. <laughs> uh, so I dropped the Arctic Armor for my build because I found another way to get chill. Can you recommend 25 to 35% aura on a Cyclone to replace it? Are you using a Blasphemy curse? Because that will be great on Cyclone. Uh, you want to specifically do like a Watcher's Eye sort of thing with it as well? Uh, um, does that include Heralds? Because that's really the only choice you've got otherwise. <laughs> well, unless you could do an Aspect, like Aspect of Spider and that, aren't they like 25 or 35%? Aspect of Spider is pretty good. Do, 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 do. 
You just got one of those walled off fortification counters. Oh, you couldn't get inside. I've had I've had some that showed up just empty, but uh Oh no. Well no, we figured that problem out. That's when you go to do like a Zana map, it'll empty out. Uh, I don't think I've had any issues really, actually. Alright. Tier 9 down. Hello. Oh, there's a few of them here. Leave the mask on. I don't care who he is. It's not good form to look under the mask, is it? Jorgen. Talisman's on pilgrimage. Don't really care. Betray Jorgen. Oh. Destroyal intervention members items. They don't have any. <laughs> nice try. Nice try, Thane. Thane, nice try, mate. I'm, I'm getting scammed here. Look at this. Destroyal intervention members items. None, none, none. Hmm. Interrogate. That's what you get. Nice scam attempt, mate. Not falling for that one. Too clever for you. What's the shape of stronghold? It's this thing. It's basically a, a map that's locked to Shaper's control. It's a uh, mechanic that was introduced somewhat recently, expansion or two ago. Um, designed to kind of like influence the Shaper versus Elder stuff on the Atlas a bit and how people would be able to interact with that. Uh, for the average player, it's effectively a place that you can go run where you will go get a bunch of extra um, map crafting currency. Like if they drop like chisels and sextants and things like that. You'll see when I kill the boss, we'll get a bunch of extra loot than we normally would off a boss. We got not that much from that one. <laughs> but a few a few things though. A couple uniques. Sextant and a chisel. Let's just do this conservatory real quick and get Alva. Remember my temple was starting to look pretty good. Those that I think End up fighting. Here comes some intervention action. Richie, Corel, and Tora. Tora! Where are you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're the, oh, you're the boss. We've been waiting to rank you up. Sweet. Rank Did you set out to become a monster exile? Or was it an accident? If it's blood you want, I propose an exchange. Mm. Release me, and I will take the life of another. No. Instead, I'm she going to interrogate no you, mate. You are brutal. My club. Intervention is getting close. It's pretty empty right now. <laughs> but uh, we'll see if we can do something before it, before it pops. I don't know. It might be a bit of a lacking intervention. Research is potentially getting pretty good, though. It was nice that we got Tora there. Tora being the one that gives gem XP. It when she's in research. So she's rank 2 now. We want to rank 3 because she'll take my level 2 in power to level 3 instantly. Rank 2 might get pretty close with quality, but we want that rank 3, baby. We want that rank 3. Where's my Alva encounters? <laughs> Didn't I come in here for Alva? Alva. Yoo-hoo. Yoo-hoo. Alva. Yoo-hoo. Yeah. There she is. How many is here? Hmm. Hello, 
All right, view temple. What do we got? Workshop. Life and yield or strong boxes? Hmm. Might be good to get yield to act as like a multiplier for like storage, surveyors, and currency. Strong. Yeah. I mean, strong boxes could be good too, though. Yeah. Let's go. How does she work? Quick explanation. Yeah, so Alva gives you an incursion, which is basically just one little one little room of the temple here, and you get to build your temple over time with Alva. So we're going to go into this incursion and try and get our best possible outcome as well as unlocking any doors possible. These are, these are unlocked doors, paths through to different rooms. And you want, you know, in theory you want a path to the top, but mostly you want to connect all the good rooms to each other so that you can get to them. Because otherwise you might just, you, you might not really be able to get to the rooms you want. Like maybe Vault didn't have any doors open, I wouldn't actually be able to get to it. Um, so there's two bosses in there, and you get to choose what the room will become after this, based on which boss you kill. So if we kill this architect, it'll upgrade the room so that it'll become a tier 2 workshop. And... Uh, That'll increase the life of the Omnitech, the boss at the end, but it'll also increase the item yield of the temples. So overall, the temple will drop more stuff. This on an alternative will be uh, change it to a strong box room. It's always this side here is always upgrade, and this side is always uh, change it to a different room. So what we want to do is kill stuff as fast as possible, grab any keys that drop along the way, unlock any doors along the way, and kill the boss that we want to kill of the two bosses. I think we're going to go to. Uh, I'll go to strong boxes. So we're just going to run straight towards that guy. He's over here. And we kill this guy. The map is oriented in the same way as it will be uh, in-game. So like the guy that's down the bottom left will be down the bottom left in-game. And then we just kind of clear. Generally you just kind of clear in like a circle. Around the whole thing. And some enemy will eventually drop a key. There's a key. And then we'll put it, and we can press N to open the thing here, or like, what, I think it's V actually. And then you can see that this door here needs a key. That's this red door. And it'll actually tell you where it's going to unlock. So that's going to put a connection from uh, here to here. So if you mouse over, it'll actually highlight it. So you can see that sort of stuff. And then you just want to like clear as much of it as you can before the timer runs out. Zantifi was my kind of architect. He was fixated on filling chests with valuables. Doom, doom. Was that it? Was it only one Arva encounter? Hmm, I guess she does one to three. I feel like I've always gotten three off her. Do, 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 do. Oh, done, I guess. And after you do 11 of those rooms like that, 11 incursions, then you get to run the actual temple. And the temple will be built, constructed in the way that uh, you built it based on your actions there. The idea is you go back in time, influence construction, then you go raid the temple in the present. And the temple will reward you based on what changes you made to it. Oh yeah, there is another one. Weird, just Alva just has like a few weird, weird things then compared to the other masters. Because <laughs> like... Alva doesn't say how many uh, how many you have to do, whereas the other the others do. The others all say what you have to do, and then Alva doesn't appear on the map until you like go right on top of a stone. Okay. Breach splinters. Let's go do that. The like deeper strategic elements of uh, the temple kind of depend on um, your decision making on whether you go for things that are only really beneficial if they reach tier three. So some of the rooms have a drawback, but no real benefit until you get get, get them to a higher level. Um, like, so they might drop like a unique at tier three or something. Um, or like the empowering room will empower all the rooms around it that are connected to it, but only at tier three. And before that, it only provides negatives. So you, uh, Kind of want to play the odds a bit. If you're going to try and push for a tier 3 version of one of those rooms, then you want to do it pretty early on. So if you get the choice early on, you probably will take it and be like, oh, okay, there's a good chance I'll be able to get back in here. If it's already there and you're upgrading it to tier 2, there's a very good chance you'll be able to get it to tier 3. But if you're like, if you're like five incursions in, so there's six to go, 
and then you get your then you get an incursion room that'll t change like a tier zero room into a tier one. Um, so I don't have any examples here, unfortunately. Oh, I guess Trap Workshop is one. So Trap Workshop only does negative things at tier one and two, and at tier three, it'll give you like a trap unique or uh, a trapper modded, modded item from the chest in there. It's a pretty one you wouldn't really go for, but it's a good example though, still. So at this point, if I had a chance to turn, say, Halls, which is a tier zero room, into a tier one trap workshop, and I really wanted the tier three trap workshop, there's not a very good chance that I would actually get back in there two more times to be able to upgrade it to tier three. There's only six incursions remaining and there looks a bunch that I could land in. Um, but if it was uh, a trap workshop and I encountered it at, at, you know, when there's like nine incursions remaining and I then I could upgrade it to two, there's still like eight incursions where I could get it to tier three. So there's a pretty good chance of getting it to tier three. Oh, Zana's back on Arachnid Nest. I think I have one of those. Arachnid Nest Zani, eh? Where are we? Oh yeah, right there. Ready to go. Oh, I had one in my inventory too. No. No, I didn't. Wait, do I need... Learn anything new. Sepulchre. I should buy that first. How are your maps? I think I'm good on the rest of these though. Okay, let's run that uh, Reckon Nest Stay Resetter. Safe. Nicer. There she is. The one and only Zani. Fungal hollow shaped tropical island. Barrows, crater, and arena. And do we have anything cool? Crab of Monsters, Beyond Invasion. Divination card in Arena, Beyond, Harbingers. I think I'm going to get the Tropical Island unlock and get Harbingers. There's not much to really explain about Harbinger if you're unfamiliar with the League mechanic. Um, shoot the blue shit until pennies drop out. That's basically my summary of Harbinger League. <laughs> Would you guys say that's an apt summary? <laughs> Sometimes you get nickels or even dimes. It was literally pocket change league. Pocket lint league. Pretty much. Pretty accurate. Yeah. That's my assessment. <laughs> the things... Harbinger was still kind of a fun league, though, despite that. Things that made Harbinger fun, though, were... The fact that we had, like, crazy maps to stay in that league. And chaining the Harbinger maps just for, like, insane XP. And currency. There's only one feat for the weak exile. Your methods are brutal. You remind me why God will not watch you kindly. Consider me Fortification. A bargain. I'll interrogate him. From diplomacy to torture. We'll get him back. Oh, Alva again. But I'm in a mission. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> Banquet hall. Oh, it's all pretty bad. I guess I'll take tormented spirits. Why are alchemy orbs wanted so much right now? Alchemy orbs are always wanted early in a league. People need to alk their maps like crazy. Be 
people are out in gear. They're legit useful. I don't know if there's anything else going on that's unusual though. I don't know if there's like another layer here. Something, something different happening. Yeah, this artist rocks, man. They have, so, they have so many, so many bangers, so funky. Maps burn through arcs? Yeah, they certainly do. And people are people are mapping hard, burning those arcs like crazy. I might have to come back for your armor. Doesn't really matter if we finish Zana's mission at all. There's, it's literally like doesn't matter at all. Like there's nothing, we don't get anything different if we finish Zana's mission as opposed to just like doing it on our own time. I think we did it anyway, but. Mate, do you mind? I thought I'd just change this into a spirit one. No, it was there. Add Tempests? Mm. Neither of those are very good options. What is your vortex AoE? Big. Girthy, I would say. I'd say it's girthy. <laughs> it's not like, I can't just read my number somewhere for my AoE. It's not listed anywhere. I have the increased AoE gem, both both AoE clusters on the tree. But, oh yeah, no, that's just, that's it. It's cold snap that has conk on it. Spider Forest, nice. I'm gonna be one more Alva in here as well. Will we be so lucky? There's an abyss. That's hey, that's Sin Victor's axe. Hold on. It's only appropriate. Sin Victor's medal. We have to play it. Doing a party. Sin Victor Metal Party. What happened to the bongo cat? <laughs> He's typing it wrong. <laughs> them drum, get them bongo cat drums going, guys. <laughs> yeah, keep the rhythm going, chat. Keep the rhythm going. <laughs> Sin Victor does play BOE sometimes, yeah. Dear God. Dear God. Well, you had your one. Everybody gets one. Wee! So many bongos! My first shaped map. Bye. I'm just gonna do a unique items one. I'm gonna crop this map though. Let's go. Whew. Spicy. Let's get some unique drops, shall we? Reckon I'm gonna get any uniques with my 100% more unique drops, Scarab, guys? What do you reckon? Is melee a bad choice? No, melee's not really a bad choice, but some melee things were nerfed. And the new melee skills don't seem like they're particularly good. People aren't very happy with them.
Do you think I'll get about zero units? About zero, approximately? Hmm. I think I'll get two. I think I'm gonna get two. That won't be good though. <laughs> but I'm gonna get two. Does it affect this zone? Hmm, apparently the mods affect this zone. That's pretty spicy. Pretty spicy indeed. He looks mad. He's coming for me. Five must survive. Five remaining. Well, shit. That's a little difficult. Don't you think? Failed to save the evidence. What the fuck, man? That's a bit unfair. <laughs> well, shit. I guess I had to just rush straight for the boss. <laughs> five, re five, five benches. Five must survive. Wow. All or nothing on that one. That's the first one of those I've failed. Failure. I feel I'm a failure. There it is, guys. I'm a failure. Oh, there's a crafting bench here at Siege. Crafting recipe, even. It's spell damage rank 4. Nice. The war maker. That slam is so loud. <laughs> what the fuck? That's one unique so far. One unique. Let's see if I get my second one. I was predicting two. That's never hit pretty hard. Mm. Second unique. Is there a difference between global crit multi versus crit multi for spells? On a spell? No, they're effectively the same. Just global crit multi applies to everything, though, that you do yourself. That you that can crit. Mm, I think you guys are right about the one about... No? Wait, you guys said zero, zero unix. I said two. Neither of us was right. Royal failures. 